This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. And the shield boys. Remember this day, man. It will be yours for all time. Shalom, all. giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Barakatam, to the hopefully elect. And this is just a real quick, um, I'm trying to get through this fairly quickly. Um, you know, I saw this clip and, you know, it just had me um, thinking because um, um, just touching on the uh, Spartans. Um, which were actually Israelites when you read in um, the book of uh, first, uh, first Maccabees chapter 12, I believe. First Maccabees chapter 12. And um, I'm going to start at verse. Um, I'm going to start at verses. Matter of fact, let me start at verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, First Maccabees 12 and 1. It says, Now, when Jonathan saw that the time served him, he chose certain men and sent them to Rome for to confirm and renew the friendship that they had with them. He sent letters also to the Lacedaemonians and to other places for the same purpose. So they went in, unto Rome and entered into the Senate and said, Jonathan, the high priest and the people of the Jews sent us unto you. To the end, ye should renew the friendship which ye had with them and league as in former time. Upon this, the Romans gave them letters unto the governors of every place that they should bring them into the land of Judah peaceably. And this is the copy of the letters which Jonathan wrote to the Lacedaemonians. It says, Jonathan, the high priest and the elders of the nation and the priest and the other people of the Jews unto the Lacedaemonians, their brethren, send greetings. So basically, um, basically, basically dealing with these Lacedaemonians, all right, um, which clearly here. It talks about how they are brothers. Matter of fact, let me jump down to verse. Verses. Uh, I'm going to jump down to verse. Um, verse 20. It says, Arias, king of the Lacedaemonians, to Onias, the high priest's greeting. It says, it is found in writing that the Lacedaemonians and Jews are brethren. And that they are are of the stock of Abraham. So again, um, just dealing with these Lacedaemonians, um, which these were again, because basically why they were called Spartans, um, because I believe Sparta, Sparta, Sparta was the, the the capital. It was it was like the capital of that region that these particular Israelites were staying in, which the Lacedo Lacedaemonians they were known as, as as Spartans because and yet you know they, they they stayed in that province you know they they stayed under that that you know that region of Sparta so again dealing with these Lacedaemonians which clearly it just said here I'm gonna read verse 20 again 
Um, it says, At Arius, king of the Lacedomians, to Onias the high priest, greeting. It is found in writing that the Lacedomians and Jews are brethren. And that they are of the stock of Abraham. So, again, dealing with these Lacedomians. What is it saying? They are them being the stock of Abraham. All right. Um, um, and, you know, basically them, them being brothers to, you know, uh, 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 the, the Jews because the Lacedomians or the Spartans, they were Jews. They were, they were Israelites. All right. That's why when you read in, um, um, I'm going to start at verses one again. It says, now when Jonathan saw that the time served him, he chose certain men and sent them to Rome for to confirm and renew the friendship that they had with them. He sent letters also to the Lacedomians and to other places for the same purpose. All right. So, you know, basically so that they won't become strangers, you know, <laughs> um, reverse three says, so they went unto Rome and entered into the Senate and said, Jonathan, the high priest and the people of the Jews sent us unto you to the end. ye should renew the friendship which ye had with them and league as in former time as in former time all right so again you know so that they you know they they won't become um you know strangers you know um so you know basically talking about uh renewing that friendship you know um so they, they, they don't become you know uh, uh strangers like it like i just said you know but again just touching on the point dealing with these lacedomians which again when you when you really get into the history uh, which uh, again seen as seen as a uh, clip um on my timeline and you know just prompted me to do some do some more digging um dealing with the lacedomians and the spartans and even going out uh, um tying into to well I'm, I'm not even going to get into that let me um stick to the, the topic before i veer of course but again dealing with these lacedomians because again you know they were in that same region which again Sparta, uh, Sparta, Sparta, which that's why they called them the Spartans, because you know Sparta was the was the it was it was like the the, the capital, <laughs> you know. It's like similar to like if you're staying in America, you know, if you're an American citizen, you know, you would be known as Amer you would be known as an American, you know. It's, it's kind of the same thing, you know. Those 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 Lacedomians they were called Spartans because you know again Spart Sparta was the capital of that area, you know. And um, I'm also go to um, well, matter of fact, because again, when you read verse 20 again, it says, it says, um, Arias, king of the Lacedomians, to Onias the high priest, greeting. It is found in writing that the Lacedomians and Jews are brethren. All right, so the Lacedomians again, the Lacedomians and the Jews, they're they're brothers. You know, again, showing that the Israelites, um, like I said, being the stock of Abraham. You know, showing you that the Lacedomians were Israelites. I'm going to get this because when you are um, dealing with the Jews, right? And uh, real quick before I get this, this is why I have this pulled up here. You know, this is, um, you can look into this uh, a book by this guy by the name of Frank Miller, you know, because um, he, he pretty much, he knew what was up, you know. But of course, um... Matter of fact, sloppy for being all over all over the place. Um, you know, because again, um, dealing with this book by Frank, uh, Frank, Frank Miller. You know, he knew that the the the, the real Spartans, um, that they were so-called black men. But you know, they do all these movies of you know, basically, um, these people being whitewashed. And when you read first, uh, first Maccabees chapter three. In verses first Maccabees three and forty eight it says and laid <clears throat> it says and later open the book of the law wherein the heathen have sought to paint the likeness of their images. So again, you know, um when you read in going uh, go into something called iconoclasm, you know, or, or, or whitewashing, you know. You know, all of our forefathers, the men of the Bible, King David, uh, uh, King James, you know, all, all of our forefathers, you know, um, them being so-called black men, you know, they were Israelites, you know. But whenever they do these movies or whenever they portray these men, 
um, you know, of the Bible, they portray him as so-called white men, you know, and, and this is why I'm going to read it again. First Maccabees 3 and uh, 48. It says, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So they sought to paint the images of our forefathers to their likeness, you know, whitewashing. All right. Iconoclasm. Again, you know, you look into iconoclasm. All right. Um, so, again, going to this, this is why I got this put up here again. You know, again, this guy by the name of Frank Miller, you know, you can. Uh, it's a book that he did uh, dealing with the, 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 you know, the Spartans, you know, and um, when, you know, when you go through the, the, the photos or whatnot, you know, because again, Frank Miller knew something, you know, he, he knew what was up. But again, when they actually did the movie, they had to, you know, uh, whitewash the characters, you know, um, or the movie, of course, wouldn't have gotten out, you know, so I'm going I'm, I'm to just pull a few of these. um so you see here, you know, like, you know, because clearly, you know, like I said, when you go through the images or whatnot, clearly the the the, the, the Spartans that is portrayed in this book by Frank Miller, um, there these images are are so called black men, like you see <clears throat> this Jake here with the clearly he has the the, the braids and whatnot, you know, <clears throat> and um when you cuz on the on their shields of, uh, of these guys on their shield of I believe is a letter displayed the uh they, I believe they displayed the, the letter L um in reference to um damn what's this guy's name um but basically when you look into it um um this guy he was a Jake you know and uh, uh, again they're they're displaying this L um, and basically like in reference of him, um, damn, I forgot his, it's not Leonidas. Um, I forgot his name. Um, damn, I forgot his name. Yeah, I forgot his name, but basically, uh, this guy that they're refer uh, the, this guy that these Spartans are referencing, which again, the L on their shields that they display on their shields, it, it was a Jake. All right. <laughs> Um, but just going through a few, few, few more of these images, you know, because again, you can clearly see that these are, these are men of color, so to say, you know, because again, this guy, Frank Miller, he, he knew that the real Spartans, he knew that they were so-called black men, right? Just see if I can get some good images. So, yeah, you know, like I said, you know, when you, you know, I mean, clearly these are, you know, uh, uh, Jake's, you know, Jake's with, you know, the, the long hair, the dreads and, and braids and, and things of that nature, you know, um, and which, you know, the, in the movie, they, they go off on a lot of things, but one of the things that they go off in, um, cause again, when you look up these different characters, these different Kings, like you see here in the movie, they got this guy, um, you know, Edomite, well, uh, Gerard, 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 what's, what's his name? Gerard Butler. Uh, I, I, me personally, um, I think he's a Jake, but again, the fact that they're portraying these, um, you know, figures as so-called white men, um, and, and, you know, they, cause they, you know, when they do these movies, man, you know, they always, you know, put them in freaking underwear and, you know, half naked and shit. When, again, you look in, you, you, when you look at these characters, when you look into them, <laughs> Um, like Leonidas and, you know, um, um, these different kings, these different, you know, key figures or whatnot, you know, uh, these guys, man, they were, they weren't, they weren't running around with, you know, friggin' diapers on and shit, you know, underwear and shit, you know, because they had on full armor and, and, and stuff like that. Matter of fact, because this guy, um, what's his name? Um, Artaxerxes, um, I can't really, it's not really a good but like this guy Art Art Artaxerxes, all right. Um, you know they portray him. They show him in the movie. Um, he's he's even a a a, a so-called dark-skinned man, a so-called black man. You know he's not an Israelite, but uh, even you know this guy Artaxerxes, he's he's a so-called black man. You know, and again these are images from 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 you know this guy's book. You know, because I saw a few of these images, but I don't uh, I. I don't see like the the the, uh, the good ones because I saw some pretty 
pretty clear images that clearly shows that you know these these guys were jakes you know so they were clearly so-called black men but for whatever reason I, you know i look it up i can't find it um it's got to be some images somewhere you know i mean you know it's just stuff like this you know like you know like clearly these are you know uh uh, uh the, 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 these are clearly our people you know this i mean this guy looks like a like he could be a um uh, one of the you know so-called north american indian tribes you know or Seminole indian tribes or whatever the case may be you know i mean like i said you can clearly see that these these are jake's men you know and again these are images out of this guy's book because again you know the buddy knew that the you know the real spartans were 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 jake's right so you know, clearly you see, you know, these are so-called black men, you know, because, again, the Spartans, the real Spartans, they were so-called black men, all right? But there's one particular image I'm looking for. I might have passed it already. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's good to, you know, nothing wrong with knowing this knowing some of this stuff because this is out you know this is our history you know you know these these are our forefathers and whatnot so you know like i said it's nothing wrong with uh, uh knowing this history man you know because this is this is like it like i just read of us uh, uh first maccabees man you know being from the stock of abraham you know we, we we come from the same lineage man we we come from that same line man that same heritage you know, because these are our people, man. You know, and how about Shemuel Shai is going to put that spirit back on Jake in these coming days that we're coming into that warrior type spirit, man? Because hey, brothers are going to be doing incredible things. You see, dealing with the Spartans, man. You know, they were hey, man, they were they were hey, they were doing incredible things, man. You know, magnificent things. <clears throat> you know, so you see, like you know, this guy, you know, kind of looks like a Jake, but. Like I said, this one particular image that I'm looking for. I can't seem to find it, but. And, you know, another thing that the. Um, the movie went off on talking about this, this movie 300 um because you know um they say it was uh what, what they, they say it was 300 men when again when you do the research and, and look into the history of things it was actually um um uh, a couple of thousand you know a couple of thousand men um i i, I just believe if i'm not mistaken that this guy um leonidas he took the the, the best uh he he hand, he handpicked the best you know um no he picked the hand best the the, the hand best uh, of his men you know but so you see man you know because why why isn't it things tripping man but like again you know you see the you see the um, you know the the long hair the locks and whatnot the braids and whatnot man because you know again these, these were jakes man but again i'm trying to find this one picture man and i can't i can't find it for whatever reason but basically the image that i'm looking for it shows uh this the the, the image because you know like in the movie they show um they show you know the spartans um in one particular the, the this guy on um, what's his name uh, leonidas in the movie you know they show him out there in the wilderness you know basically surviving and you know defending himself or whatnot but in this book it shows it shows the same image except see this is this is what i was looking for so like i was saying you know because this is you know like like I was saying in the movie, they show they show him, you know, in the in, in, in you know out there basically, you know, surviving and defending himself or whatnot. But here in this book, you can clearly see here because this is supposed to be Le uh, Leonidas, you know, 
and then clearly it's a, it's a so-called black man you know or, or you know he, he's a young man but he clearly he's a so-called black man you see the pigmentation in the skin the the, the, the brown skin you know fighting off the wolf or whatnot because again you know this guy he knew that hey these were our people you know so like i was saying you know in the movie they show you know some skinny pale face you know boy but in reality you know it was a jake you know so again you know just backing up a little bit what i read in the first uh first maccabees 348 where basically they were whitewashed the, the images and this is why in all the movies and whatnot they portray them as you know uh so-called white people but in reality all right these are our people all right uh what was i going to get um I was going to get this in, uh, what was that, Jeremiah 14 and 2, because like I read in um, 2 Maccabees, the 12th chapter, where it said, you know, the, the Lacedo uh, Lacedomians and the Jews, they were brethren, you know, and what color were the Jews? Well, when you read Jeremiah 14 and 2, it says, it says, Judah mourneth in the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up, so... You, uh, you see, um, Judah, you know, be one of the, 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 you know, 12 tribes, the head tribe. All right. You know, clearly again, it says, it said Judah more than the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. So, cause it gives a physical description of what the Israelites look like. It gives a physical description of what even your house shy and the heavenly father, what they look like. And even the angels, you know, and, and clearly you know, the entities are, are, of color, you know, so-called black men, the Heavenly Father and his and his son and the angels and the Israelites, you know, pigmentation, you know, not so-called white people, man. You know, that's that's a curse of leprosy. All right. Clean leprosy, man. You know, no pigmentation in your skin. That's that's, you know, that's you know, that's 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 a curse. That's a disease. All right. You know. And another thing, like it tells you in Genesis, um, talk, it tells you how um, it tells you how in Genesis, um, the Lord formed man out of the dust of the earth, you know. And that's why I even use the example with uh, Artaxerxes. He even he was he he was a man of color, you know. Um, like I say, he wasn't a heathen, but he was a man of color. But um, even the nations at one point they had before Esau came in and, and, and you know, uh, uh, you know, conquered everyone. Even the nations, even the other nations, um had a pigmentation in their skin because like i was saying like i was quoting in genesis the lord formed man of the dust of the earth all right which is different shades of light brown to a very very dark brown chocolate brown you know <clears throat> so again you know um dealing with these these um lacedomians or these spartans all right they were israelites man they were jakes let me get this in first maccabees 14 because again, you know, these these particular Jews, you know, um, sending these letters over to the Lacedomians, right? Because they were brothers, you know. First um, Maccabees 14 and 20, it says, and this is the copy of the letters that the Lacedomians sent, the rulers of the Lacedomians, with the city unto Simon, the high priest, and the elders and priests and and residue of the people of the Jews, our brethren, send greetings. So you see, like I read in uh, First Maccabees, the first, uh, excuse me, the twelfth chapter, where you know Jake was sending uh, sending these letters to these Lacedomians. Where here was the uh, excuse me, uh, First Maccabees fourteen and twenty. All right, this, these Lacedomians, they're sending letters back. You know, because again, you know, we're, we're you know at the end of the day, they were you know we're all brothers. And then, you know, that's pretty much, I'm going to read it again. Verse 20, it says, and this is the copy of the letters that the Lacedomians sent. The rulers of the Lacedomians with the city unto Simon, the high priest and the elders and priest and residue of the people of the Jews, our brethren, send greetings. So again, you know, these Lacedomians, they sent letters back to these Israelites, to these Jews, because they're brothers. All right. You know, again, showing you that these Lacedomians, they're Israelites, man. You know, and again, when you go into the history, you come, you know, it comes to find out that, um, um, again, they were calling them Spartans. All right. Because again, the last the Lacedomians, they were staying in that, 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 
particular region of that land and again spart sparta was the was the capital of that land it's just like during uh during the time um you know you had jake jake living in rome all right you would be considered a roman citizen and like a example that i used before even to in today's day and age jake living in america you're considered an american citizen so it was, it's, it's the same thing all right it's the same concept so to say you know they were they, the spartans they were called the spartans because they were living in that that particular region and sparta was the capital of that that particular region that those lacedomians were staying in all right but again you know at the end of it all ultimately they were they were israelites they were jakes these these are our people the, you know these spartans they, they were our people all right and like i said you know it's just you know it's just good to know i you know know these things because this is our history man and this is where we come from all right and again, you know, hey, because how about Shemuel Shai is going to put it, he's going to put that spirit back on Jake and, and you know, that warrior spirit. And, you know, because, hey, man, them, them, them Spartans, man, they were, they were tearing, they were tearing shit up, man. You know, they were doing damage. You know, basically they had spiritual, uh, spiritual power, you know, which, you know, I mean, that's nothing new, um, you know, throughout time, throughout history, um, you know. You know, there's often, often points in time in history where the Lord would lift up that standard, you know, and this is why Jake was doing incredible things, man. You read about King David and his mighty men, you know, during the time of the uh, during the time of Acts, the apostles were, uh, uh, were performing all type of miracles, performing all type of miracles, man, doing all type of all, doing all type of things. And like I said, man, it's not going to be it's, it's going to be nothing new. Um, this go around, man. The Lord is going to lift up that standing man. And, hey, man, you know, brothers are going to be doing all all type of crazy things, man. You know, because, again, we 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 come from that stock, man. We we come from this lineage. You know, this is our history, man. This this Bible is our record book. All right. You know, and even more so, this is why they, they take um, they took the Apocrypha out of the Bible, man, because, hey, man, this Bible goes into detail, man, on, on a lot of things, man. Talking about the Apocrypha. Right, which they, the the word apocrypha means hidden books, and this was taken out because, Amen. This 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 part of the Bible of the Bible, because it is a part of the Bible. All right, it goes into a lot, man. A lot of secular history. You know, this this by this this these fourteen books, um, incriminates the so-called white man to a T, man. You know, it goes into a lot. So, this is part of the reason why they took these books out of the Bible. But nevertheless. You know, I mean, you can't completely get rid of the truth, man. You know, one way, one way or the other, how about Shemuel Shai? He's going to have his truth come out, you know. So this was just a quick something, man. Again, this is a part of our history. Um, the Spartans, they were Israelites. You know, you can look into the Lacedomians, all right. Or, you know, you can look into the Spartans, you know, um, because they were our people, man. And again, this is our records. This is our history. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to you. How about Shemuel Shai? Double honesty, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Y'all, Bashim Shah, broke a thumb to the hopefully elect. Lord's will, till next time, Shalom.